<clears throat> Hello, everybody. Hey, hey, it's Douglas Block. It's Sunday, June 30th, the very last day of the month. Matter of fact, the last day of the half year. Uh, the For those of you who invest in stocks, the Standard & Poor's 500 index had its record gain or for at least the last three or four years. Also, for those of you who may uh, create goals at the beginning of the year, maybe, uh, what is that called? Your, uh, what do you do at the beginning of the year? <clears throat> your your goals for the year. There's something. Someone tell me what that means. Anyway, it's half the year. You should go back, sit back and assess what you've accomplished, which goals you've accomplished, and which ones you need to work on. New Year's resolutions. That's what we're going at. Hey, so anyway, hello, everybody. Jason, Oliver, Chom Choms, Ruth, Carrie, Taco Platter, MD Nix, and the old regulars are here. Ready to talk about mental health recovery. I uh, have a disclaimer, which I put at the very beginning, beginning of the video, which says that this is for educational purpose only. We're not going to diagnose or treat mental health uh, conditions on this live chat. If you need something like that, go find a mental health professional. I always recommend that people who are dealing with anxiety, depression, mood disorders have their own therapist and their own psychiatrist if they want to take medication. That being said, the purpose of this uh, live chat is to create community and connection and have the, you guys create a community and help each other because I fully believe in horizontal support. Um, uh, that being said, what was my last video on Monday? Oh, yeah. How to deal with job search depression. Anybody um, see that video? <clears throat> well, uh, the next video I'm going to produce next Monday or put up is how to deal with the toxic workplace environment. Maybe you have a job. Maybe you're not looking for one, but the environment you're in is really not very helpful. It's making you feel worse. Uh, there are things you can do there. Anyway, here we are, 30 people watching. Uh, well, hello, Miss Ranch. It's Jason Kulo. And um, yes, Kelly Burns, thank you for telling me that. Uh, Kelly from UK, thank you. This is his weekend therapy, or so he says. Thank you for your, uh, your wonderful um, live chat and uh, super chat patronage. Uh, Stephen Donette, nice to see you. Long time no see. 33 now. Oh, yeah, you don't need to tell me what's up there. I actually, thank you, Ruth. I actually now can see who's watching. Heidi, wow. Hey, I'm sorry I haven't gotten back to you yet. I know you emailed me. I said I was really, really busy, but uh, send me another email if you uh, want to reconnect. I appreciate it. Well, why don't we start with a, with a joke? Someone just... Uh, um, this is a bad joke. You guys have been sending me bad jokes. I'm going to read it right now. Here it is. Okay, so what did the relate? What did the astronaut? Let's, come on, Doug, slow down. What did the astronaut tell his partner when he ended the relationship? Or what did the astronaut tell her partner when she ended the relationship? Hey, I just need some space. Isn't that horrible? Well, I just did a uh, video on on work, so I like this one. My boss told me to, to have a good day, so I went home. All right, and why did Edison invent the light bulb? He had a bright idea. Okay, three bad puns. Uh, Stephen, you've been feeling really bad and not myself. Well, what's going on, Stephen? That's what depression will do to you. It'll make you feel not yourself. Um, so yeah, that happens. Chest and FYI, my blood labs came back very low testosterone, 127. Well, you know that, uh, Kelly, that low testosterone can be an indicator or can be a cause of depression. Uh, what does your doctor say? Uh, how can I find a wife? Taco Platter, five bucks right off the bat. Thank you, Mr. Platter. I know that's not your real name. Hey, ask any question you want. Simpsons, how can I find a wife? Well, there's online dating, and the other way to go about it is to Go take classes, things you're interested in, or do things you're interested in, or join a meetup group. Hobnob with people who are interested in the same things you are, and organically you'll meet people who uh, essentially, um, please don't give up the day job. Thank you. Vicky, appreciate it. Uh, that was very clever. Uh, yeah, so just go ahead and hang around people who have the same interest, and you'll organically meet people. MD Nixon from Germany. I'm on a new medication now called Valdoxin. Or agomelatine, never heard of it. It's a very new medication, antidepressant based on melatonin. Has no side effects yet. I'm very upbeat. Well, you know, there's something called the placebo effect. You give a bunch of people two, two control groups, two groups, a control group and, and the experimental group. You give the, the experimental group Prozac, say it's an antidepressant, maybe 40% 
or 50% will feel better after six weeks. Then you give that a second group a placebo, but you tell them it's Prozac. Well, guess what? 20 to 30% get better. Well, scientists have been dismissing that as an you know, as a unwanted, you know, factor. But no, it's very important. Why would 20 to 30 percent of people get better when you give them a sugar pill and tell them it's Prozac? I'll tell you why. The brain, the mind, the placebo effect, the ability that if you believe something's going to help, if you have faith in something, your brain chemistry changes, your neurochemistry changes, and in fact, you start to feel better. So never underestimate the power of hope, the mind, and expect expectancy. Expectancy. All right. So keep it up, MD Nixon. All right. Any other questions? Uh, I was just for medical. Finally, Lazy Eye Ranch. Now you can get some uh, call your own therapist and see about going again. And you have a working vehicle. Things are looking up. All right. Uh, what else do people have to report here? Thank you. Someone just contributed ten dollars. Boy, you should you should know that I'm a little. Uh, I won't say I'm hard up for money. I'm just saying some of my income flow has been decreasing. Never say you're hard up for money. The universe. The, the, what do you call it? The subconscious mind can take a joke. You know, what I have is constantly growing larger. I am prosperous. Prosperity is my divine right. In the meantime, thank you. Uh, somebody from California gave me a Stephen Dunnett. Hey, the CA mean California or not? I love California. I had my first transformation there. Hey, there's Muhammad once again from the Gaza Strip. This is Dr. Muhammad Gaza, the biggest open air prison in the world. Yep, you've written me that. It's too hot, and electricity comes only four hours a day. Wow. Is that really true? Only four hours a day of electricity? That is just, you know, I, I would say complain to the authorities, but, you know, that's what I would do. I'm really sorry you have to go through that. Uh, my doctor told me this will absolutely affect mood. I think you mean AFFECT, but who cares? I'm a writer. And what is it? Oh. So you're basically saying, uh, Kelly Burns said, your low testosterone will make your mood go down. Well, if that's what the doctor says, I guess uh, tell him what, ask him what the next step is. You might need to get testosterone cream and put it all over you like one of my group members or whatever. But, uh, you know, see what your doctor has to say. Thanks, Heidi. I love that name, by the way. How can anybody named Heidi be a negative person? Uh, yes, it is terrible, Lazy Eye Ranch. The power of the mind. Thank you very much, Jason. It's true. Well, you're well into your recovery, but you have minor depersonalization and deprivation. What do you mean by deprivation, Taco? Platter Stephanie, wow. Nice to hear from you. We need to chat some more. Uh, Stephanie's a good buddy of mine. She lives in uh, California. Sometimes it seems that the older one gets, the harder and more painful life gets. That is why gratitude is so important in every day life. Okay, excellent point. I want, I want, okay. Would you like to copy this incredible chart I made called uh, Self-Care Activities to Improve Your Mood? It took 20 years in the making. First three people tell me something they're grateful for. I'll send you a free copy of that that uh, that chart. Just raise your hand and say something you're grateful for, starting with you, Stephanie. What are you grateful for? I know you have a... Well, I won't put words in your mouth, so you can tell me. Or anybody else wants, wants to raise their hand. Ruth, five pounds. I'm grateful for that. Uh, thank you very much, Ruth. Um, and again, uh, if you don't have a copy of this, uh, the self-care activities to improve your mood chart, give me your email address, and or you can just email me. Yes, here we are, guys. Anybody who made a contribution, just email me douglasblock at gmail .com, and I will definitely uh, quickly send you that chart. That's right, Stephen. You're from Canada. That's right. Hey, how are the Toronto Raptors are doing? They beat my favorite Golden State Warriors. That's horrible. That's right. You like the joke I told. How do you get a, a Canadian to apologize? Step on his foot? I still think it's a great joke. You have new drawings on the wall. The wall behind you. Well, that's because you haven't been here in a while. These are, these are all drawings from my goddaughter when she was about six or seven years old. And there's Ram Ramana Maharshi over my left shoulder right there, the guru saint. And that uh, thing over there above him, that beautiful tapestry, was brought to me from South America by my uh, consultant assistant. Uh, it's, some sort of, it's from Bolivia. It's some sort of a tapestry that represents all the different tribes in the area. It's absolutely beautiful. You should see it in person. i sorry. I pressed the wrong button. Uh, I was asking if you had therapy helps and if yes, what kind. Oh, well, therapy definitely helps. For depression, it's usually cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT. But anytime you get together with another person and make that relationship 
the relationship between you and your therapist is actually more important than actually what the therapy is. All right, uh, MD Nixon, medica medication is significantly better than the placebo group. In fact, I wonder why this medication was not in your sleep medication video. Uh, well, I didn't know about it. Why don't, you, why don't you send me an email and tell me what the name is? You learned a lot this week, the power of forgiveness. It's a very powerful thing, forgiveness. Yes, sir. Candy X, nice to see you. Benson, hi, Doug. Irving Kirsch is a world expert on placebo. Have you seen his videos? No, but I liked you. Matter of fact, I'm going to take your uh, advice. I'm going to copy and paste this. By the way, just to let you know, guys, I'm doing uh, live chats every other Wednesday. So this Wednesday, July 3rd, the day before Independence Day in America, I will be doing a live chat at noon at 12 uh, Pacific time. So be there or be square. Uh, Benson, thank you for that interesting information. I'm going to copy and paste that in my live chat notes. Can you come back here, come back here. All right, uh, Abdullah. Oh yes, thank you. Nice to see you again. Hello, Doc. How are you today from one to 10? Oh, about a six, a little better than normal. You're alive, Jason. It's a good thing. Oh, something to be grateful for. Uh, what's up with the sound? I don't know. I, it seems okay for me. Let me know if anybody's having um, have any problems with the sound. It seems okay from my end. Uh, derealization. Okay, yes. Well, that's when you kind of feel like you're in a you're detached from yourself. And uh, I've been told by people who have depersonalization just to kind of notice it and just sort of let it be refocus on something else and don't get too uh, caught up about it and it will just sort of go into the background. My friends, yes Vicky, that's a very important thing to be grateful for your life. That's another great thing to be something to be grateful for, uh, Jason. To be able. Sim Sums I'm depressed and it's my fault and I don't want to get better. Okay, you guys help Sim Sums reframe that, that those words. Uh, first of all, it's not your fault that you're depressed. It's a, you know, among other things, a biochemical, also environmental issue. People don't want to get depressed. They don't, you know, they, they don't draw it upon them. No one wants to feel bad. You know, the Dalai Lama, Dalai Lama says, we all want to be happy. So it's not your fault. And as far as don't want to get better, there's a part of you that does. And I want to encourage that part of you that does want to get better because the, the tendency that we all have is to avoid pain and to move towards pleasure. It's called the survival instinct. So let's give some 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 uh, uh, support. I know you can get better, uh, and I know that being depressed is not your fault. Uh, do I have a, a PDF version of the chart? I do, Jay. Just go ahead and send me an email. I'll send it to you. Grateful for friends and music. I was on Stevie Wonder kick. Oh my God, what do you think? Songs in the key of life, inner visions, talking book. Fulfilling this is first a finale. He did five straight videos <clears throat> from 73 to 76. They were absolutely amazing. Starting with Talking Book, uh, what was it? Inner Visions, Fulfillingness, first finale, and Mumbling, and Songs in the Key of Life, and there's one other. Anyway, yes, Evie Wonder, my favorite musician, period. Especially those songs. There's a slight buzz on the line, huh? Well, let me try to move this thing. I don't know. Maybe, hopefully that fixes it. Uh, yes, uh, Stephanie. Simpsons, you can choose to live in a life. Don't give up. Thank you. Beautiful. Have you ever had any experience with a supplement called saffron for enhanced mood? Yes, I sniff it every day. <laughs> I don't know if it works. Saffron is an herb. It's a very expensive herb. And from Persia, and it is supposed to help mood, but it's very, very subtle. So I can't really tell, but I still use it. So yeah, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I've been feeling this way for a while, Doug, and been single. I kind of feel like I'm not getting enough love and hugs. Don't hugs kill negative energy? Sure, human touch is healing, absolutely. Well, how about getting massage, Stephen? Uh, there's some amazing massage therapists out there now in the world. And, uh, you know, it's not, it's, 60 to 90 minutes of loving touch and therapeutic touch. So, uh, and then, you know, try getting some hugs from your friends if you don't have a partner. Saba Deep Banarji. Somehow I think you're from India. I've been suffering from depression for the last four years. And my family doesn't know about it. Wow, you keep good secrets. But on the 12th of last month, I had a severe anxiety attack like never before. Well, the question is, are you getting treatment? What are you actually trying to do 
and are you reaching out for help and, and getting some seeing a psychologist or someone who deals with medication uh you know here's the deal anxiety depression treatable treatable that means they can you can feel better you can get better uh because they're long-term lifelong conditions uh you may not get rid of it quote unquote but you can improve enough to have your life in terms of the mood scale be between like a four and a six and feel well some of the time. Hey, you still can have some quality of life. So, but you do need to do something to take some action. What's the best way to start taking SSRI? Well, I'm going to say something and I'm going to defer to your doctor in small doses, very small, because some people have uh, paradoxical reactions to them, anxiety reactions. So, if you start low, you reduce your risk. Now, talk to your doctor about that. I'm not prescribing, but I'm just telling you what, from my experience, what I've, what I've gone through. Okay. Uh, who else is, uh, hello, Virginia, Susan. Yes. I went to the hospital next morning and carried an EEG and found nothing except my heart rate was normal. Well, that's good. Uh, yeah. Stephen says, thank you, Oliver. Uh, Hamlet C, I got, I saw your message. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. It's hard. You're finding it hard to wash your hair and shower. Uh, and clean your teeth. That's a very, uh, that's a symptom of depression, Hamlet C. And uh, it just means that you need to reach out and get help, uh, get some support, find a counselor, find a doctor. And, uh, you know, you can break out of that, that state of not wanting to take care of yourself. Poor self-care is a very common symptom of depression. So, but again, it can be treated. All right. Uh, great albums. Yeah, my mom loved them too. Well, good. We're talking about Stevie Wonder. I don't want to offend you, but did you gain weight? Yes, I did. Unfortunately, uh, <clears throat> some medication I've been taking for mood uh, slows down your metabolism. So I'm very upset about it, but I'm doing my best. I have lost a couple of pounds in the last two days. But yes, I am heavier than I used to be. Thanks for noticing. Hey, Bernard, nice to see you. My favorite YouTuber. Hey, Andrea. Well, I don't want to bribe you, but, you know, click on that little live chat button and throw in a few cents if you can. Uh, Simpson says, how can I be so stupid? I lent my brother lots of money. Now I'm in debt. I also ruined everything with my crush. So she said to leave her alone. Wow. Well, you know what? I have a video called Forgive Yourself for Your Mistakes. Uh, you know, when none of us is perfect, we do make mistakes. And, you know, everybody, everybody who's human makes mistakes. You know what, uh, what's his name said? Um, the great poet. Who was he? The heir is human to forgive the divine. Alexander Pope. Yes, sir. Uh, Vicki Rushton says, I've done CBT now. I get stressed about the list I'm supposed to do to encourage me to do things. Well, cut down the list. Make less of them. Uh, Subhar D. Bonjuri says, Anthony, it's horrible, man. It's horrible. I think you're talking about anxiety. Sometimes try and get some professional help. I would agree. Hey, Rob, nice to hear from you. I'm beginning to see a therapist tomorrow. I still cannot shake the notion of depression. Is it a right action in the wrong society? So I hate being told something is wrong with me. Well, let me put it this way. Let's assume nothing is wrong with you, Rob. It is not your fault. You are having a reaction to a society that's very, you know, out of balance. Okay. Still, you want to find something to help you feel better, right? You still want to find coping tools to raise your mood. So without anything being wrong with you, you can still see a therapist and say, look, we live in a really bad civilization of having a normal reaction. What can I do to find some pleasure? What can, you know, find something to be grateful for? Like, you know, your, your friends or, you know, being on the slide chat. You know, you can always, you, okay, so what does AA say, uh, Rob C? God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, e.g. the state of the world, and the courage to change the things I can. So what you can you change? You can exercise more. You can watch your food. You can sleep better. You can find structure in your routine. You can listen to music like CB Wonder. There are things in your control that you can raise your mood, even though there's nothing wrong with you. How's that answer? Tom Jones, Doug, you may be using the PC's internal mic instead of the one on your shirt. Uh, well, the PC's internal mic is turned off. So I'm not really quite sure. If that buzzing continues, let me know, and I'll switch to the internal mic. Um, Thanks, Jason. I'm waiting for CBT meeting to be careful. Last time I had CBT, they called the police. I didn't do anything wrong. Even the police said that. Oh, that's strange. Uh, by the way, um, 
Does anybody besides Chom Choms hear the buzzing in my mic? Because if so, I'll, I'll get rid of it and just use the internal mic and the computer. Uh, so let me know. Lazy Eye Ranch. Mom and Dad said the same resort as Stevie Wonder and his wife. Wow, Mom was thrilled. She said his wife was gorgeous. And she wondered if he knew that. Yes, Mom, I think he knows. Too funny. Yeah. Well, he wrote a beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, couple of songs to his wife. And also his child, Isn't She Lovely? Anthony Olson, thank you for giving that message to Subhardi Barnjari. Yes, finding a psychiatrist who can prescribe medication, often good things. And Jason, thank you for telling Jason, what about one of your really bad jokes? Um, I could have such a good life now, savings, but I'm in debt. Yes, well, you can rebuild yourself. You can be restored. Wow. Yeah, let's say some prayers for your brother, um, uh, Stephanie. Where there's life, there's hope. Stop watching the news channel, says Jason. <clears throat> I did gain some weight from Remeron, too. Now I'm leaning off it. Let's lose some pounds and get more fit. Well, I couldn't agree with you more, MD Nixon. Coping tools to raise your mood. Simple but so profound, says Stephanie. Susan. <clears throat> I just finished Joyce Meyer's audiobook, Mind Connection. is very good inspiration. I'm just passing it on. Uh, what's it, what is it about? Uh, Susan? Hi, Namar. Nice to see you. Time for me to suck a lodging here. Uh, what is the Easter Bunny's favorite kind of music? Hip-hop. You know, sometimes I have a lot of liberal arts degrees I never could get work, but I always wanted to be a plumber, but it turned out to be a pipe, a pipe dreamer. Anything else? This is my favorite. I tell it every time we're on live chat. When Satan goes bald, they'll be held to pay. Mm-hmm. A great pun. All right. Anwar, nice to see you. My heart breaks every time I see a homeless person. Yes, that is absolutely true. I do hear the buzzing. Damn. Okay, let me know if you hear it now. I'm holding my mic up like this. If you still hear the buzzing, let me know it. And if you do, I'll go, I'll go on the regular mic. Was my mother Jewish? Only on my parents' side. Sorry, there's a noise. Okay. Well, let's try this. Is the noise? Whoops, I don't think there's. Hmm. How's this? Nope, still not happening. Well, I can't seem to get the regular mic on. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not quite sure why the regular mic is not showing. Uh, so maybe I'll try one more thing. Ah, there we go. Okay. This sound any better? Let me know. I disconnected the the regular mic, and I'm now on the mic on the computer. Let me know if the hissing has stopped. Taco Platter said, "Do I follow Joel Sperman's diet for me to live?" Absolutely. I think he's a genius, and I think it's the best thing that anybody can do. Let me know if the hissing is gone. Um, hey, there is some background noise. Is it gone now? Let me know. Okay, a joke. My wife said she was going to leave me if I didn't stop singing songs by the monkeys. I didn't believe her. Then I saw her face. That's a horrible joke. You have to know what, what the monkey songs is. There's still noise? Really? That's 
impossible. Um, okay, now try it. There should be not any noise now. There better not be. I'm the happiest and most content when serving others, says Stephanie. Absolutely. You know, which joke did you like? Um, and do you listen this week? I found out that I can be happy even if the circumstances are not perfect. Happiness comes from the inside. You don't think, you know. That's what every spiritual teacher has ever said. Rob C. Lazy High Ranch, I'm not a parent. I can imagine how hard that must be for your son. My mom is schizophrenic. You seem down today? Well, I'm tired. How's that? What do you call a snobbish criminal going down to the escalator? A condescending con. Oh my God. Where do you get these things? You can still hear it? It's still there? Well, I don't know what to say. Um, the mic is working perfectly. Um, the computer is at 100%. I mean, everything is really set up the way it's supposed to be. Let me try one other thing. Okay. I turned one of the mics, one of the mics not using down. Let me know if you can still hear the hissing. I took off my mic, Andrea, and I'm using the mic on the computer. No better? Oh, God. I don't know what's going on. There must be something out in the electronic uh, fields around my house because there's no reason for this hissing. So in the meantime, um, if the noise is very slight, says Kelly, just try to ignore it and, you know, listen to me and listen and watch your old comments and, you know, support each other as you always do. All right. There's a snake hissing. Well, it's, just try to ignore the snake, okay? It's not going to hurt you. It's, it's way far away. It's in Portland, Oregon. Okay. Uh, maybe a phone or something. Yeah, I don't really know what, to, what it could be. Anyway, I'm not going to let it bother me as long as people can... Hear me and you can see each other. That's what's important. Um, ah, I'm on a laptop. And yes, the microphone does record fan noises. Well, you're absolutely, that's, you're brilliant. Well, I can't do anything about the fan and I am on a laptop. So let's just try to live with it, okay? Just like, you know, it's like depression, right? You can be, you can kind of be down a little bit. You can find a little bit. You can be a little not like yourself, but you can still go out. You can still interact with the world. You can still engage. So even if you're not feeling 100%, even if there's some pain in the background, you can still have, you know, a decent day. So let's look at the hissing on this laptop as like having some minor, you know, uh, depressive or anxiety pain in the background. It's in the background. You can still focus on the world and, and get something out of the day. So that's what we're going to do. Um, thank you, Stephanie. Love your artwork hanging up in the background. Yes, my goddaughter from the Waldorf School from the elementary years. I loved helping her out when she was young. Anybody have children there? It's a blessing to have kids. Hey, Bertie Curry. Have you ever been on this live chat before? I haven't heard from you. Nice to see you. Any more jokes? Um, hey, let me see. Did anybody see the world soccer game between the United States and France 2-1? to one? What a thriller. I think the United States is playing Great Britain. Hey, you... You, uh, you Brits over there, you people from the UK, are you cheering for the British soccer team? Do you even know they're playing in the semifinals on Tuesday in the World Cup? All you guys from the UK, raise your hands. I don't think there's too many of them today, but I think Kelly and Oliver are from the UK. Okay. Um, yes, I hope the interference has gone down so we can at least, you know, transcend it. Vicky Rushton, sometimes it's better to think of a bad debt as a gift that you can get over, at least it worked for me with my brother. That's a nice thing to do. Uh, I'm just looking at some other past uh, connections here. Uh, hey, how do you know about Taco Plot or about Joel Furman and Eat to Live? I'd like to know that. How do I get off of Fexer? Says CopyTac36 very slowly and under the supervision of your doctor. Absolutely. Ah. All right. I'm just going back. Anyway, anybody else want to do a, uh, a super chat? Uh, again, get a free chart or even a free ebook.
Uh, the free ebook is I'm Going Through Hell Don't Stop, My Memoir of Overcoming Anxiety and Clinical Depression. And check this out, guys, from Julie Hayes, uh, who rose from the ashes of a deep suicidal depression and came back to life. And she now co-hosts a podcast with her friend Liz. And um, it's, if I can just find the damn thing. Here it is, Liz Life Guru, Detroit podcast. Put that in your iPhone or your Android phone. Liz Life Guru, I'm, uh, episode number six, a great talk on overcoming depression. They have some other really good uh, stuff on addiction, toxic relationships. It's a great podcast. It's called Liz Life Guru. Check it out on your podcast app. Hey, Nicholas, nice to hear from you. Uh, the UK, and I wonder if the English football team, Scott, were knocked out earlier. Yes, well, I guess you guys call it football. Um, so, is that the flag of Great Britain, Andrea M? I'm not quite sure. Boo Boo, what about the balance between work and study? If you have tips, let me know. I also want to know something about misandry and depression. Thank you in advance. Scott, I need to up my vocabulary. I don't know what misandry is, but work and study? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Uh, you mean you have a job and you're in school? You should try to pay both attention to both. And I guess I'm going to have to go into my iPhone and check out what Miss Andrea means. All right. Um, anybody know? You can tell me. I'm going to look it up in Google here. M-I-S-A-N-D-R-Y. Miss Andrea. Hatred of men. Huh. Wow. Misogyny is negative feelings towards women. Misandry is hatred of men. Wow. Well, thank you, Rob. So, yes, I just found that out. Well, um, I'm, uh, I, I don't think hatred of any, any gender is, you know, is, is warranted or hatred of any group of people, obviously. Um, so yes, uh, if you if you have misandry, you're going to be more depressed because hatred, blame, negative emotions, definitely going to make you feel lower. The CEO of Honda was fired. The police had to be called to remove him from his office. Apparently, he refused to leave on his own accord. That was insanely bad, Lazy Eye Ranch. But thank you. The UK has four nations. Oh, I see. All right. Well, I guess England is England is the one that's in the semifinals. Thank you. Um, I feel like you gave me a snappy, sarcastic answer. Really? I did? What was your question? What did you mean when you said, how's that? Candy X, can you repeat your question? I never give anybody. Oh, I seem down today. It, was that... Was that a snappy? Yes, I am a little bit down. Uh, so yes, I, I hope that I was not being... Yeah, I'm basically... I, I, said I was tired, too. Uh, I wasn't trying to be sarcastic, Candy XX. I am tired. Uh, I've been going through a lot of stress, having to deal with some legal issues I have and some legal conflicts. So yes, you picked it up. You're a very sensitive person. And uh, just tell me, Candy XX, that this too shall pass. Uh, a pun doesn't become a dad joke until it's full of grown. Blackbird X7777. I saw your video on how you got out of depression. Would it be possible to do it yourself? You have no trips to friends or relationships? Hmm. Well, there may be people out there that pray and they're vulnerable. But some people are good, uh, Blackbird X7777. Can you find a therapist? Can you reach out? Can you go to a support group or meetup group? There are people out there who are kind and who want to help. And so I would try to make up your mind that you're going to attract those people. Carlos Rodrigo Ruiz, sometimes I think we're all highly sensitive persons. That's why you're more susceptible to anxious and depressed. I agree with you. Meditate and exercise is excellent. Anyway, Candy XX, I'm, I'm, I hope I answered your question. I was not being sarcastic. I was actually acknowledging your point. Susan Harkema, it's great, Doug, that you're still doing this today despite how you're feeling. How did you do that? Uh... It's called willpower. <laughs> and also, I have an obligation to be here. And, you know, I'm, I'm someone who takes my obligation seriously. 
Uh, I began reading when going through hell and stuff. It's a great book, but it also made me kind of sad that things you experienced were true hell. Yes, but you know what Shakespeare said, all's well that ends well. I came out of it. So yes, it was hard for me to go through those. But guess what? It's given me more empathy for people who are depression. So even, you know, things we go, tell me if you guys agree with this. What we go through, the pain we go through, has uh, a silver lining. And that's that we become more compassionate and stronger as a result. We can turn this fortune into fortune. We can make lemons out of lemonade. All the suffering we've gone through, everybody who's tuned into this channel, there is something that you can get from it that can be positive if you just frame it in the right way. So anyway, that's what I found. So I might, when I look back at that horrible depression and that I wrote about in the book, uh, which is this book right here. Um, yeah. It wasn't such a bad thing. Of course, I now have 21 years, 22 years looking back at it. At the time, it was sure hell, and I almost didn't make it. So, yes. Um, thank you, Andrea. Uh, Benson, Copytech 36, to get off of extra 10% of your current dose a month is recommended rate. Yes. Uh, at least, you know, minimum, the slower, the better. And again, talk to your doctor. Anyway, to stop waking, waking up at night to pee, sometimes I do want... Then cancel it because I started thinking. Hmm. All right, I'm not quite sure what that meant. Uh, at any rate, I uh, hope everything will be okay. Yes, Taco Platter. Yes, Susan McDonald's prayers for your legal matters. Remember about your support group. Hey, how do you know that? Yes, the Board of Psychology is, is uh, you know, up in arms against me. I won't say up in arms. They're, they're definitely saying that I'm doing a therapy group, which, of course, I'm not. So, yes have to hire a lawyer. Very stressful. I never had legal problems by now until I'm 70. Man, I do not, uh, I would not want to wish legal problems on anybody. Huh, what a stress, what a stressful thing to go through. Uh, thank you, by the way, uh, Susan. I think of my depression as not having enough obligations. Yes, since my dad died last year and I'm no longer a caregiver, I feel lost. This has happened when I was a caregiver at least two times. Well, Susan, uh, you know, find someone else to serve. There's so many people who need, you know, help, homeless shelters. You can go uh, visit shut-ins, you know, elderly shut-ins. You can go to a, you know, assisted living session, uh, center, a nursing home. There's lots of people out there who need care. And I, since you're a giving person, uh, you know, I have confidence you, you can find them. It's the core of the human spirit. We have come through so much just to be here. Jason, you're absolutely right. Resiliency, I'm going to even type that out. This is something that every uh, human being has, if I can spell. Oh, God. Did I spell that word right? Resiliency? Um, yeah. Uh, that's what we all have. That's why the human race is still here with famines and floods and wars and tortures and the plague and everything you can imagine we still got six billion people on the planet that must tell you something or however many billion uh try not to let it down get you down dog you're an incredible person have given so much to so many thank you very much well, i'm writing on it i'm working on a new book that i think is going to help a lot of people even more than my book healing from depression speaking of which um this is the thing i'm most proud of you can get it on amazon.com or amazon.com uk Healing from Depression, a Body, Mind, Spirit Recovery Program. This has uh, my personal memoir, and also uh, part two is my 12-week program to working through and managing your anxiety or depression. I wrote it 21 years ago. It's still true today. Uh, how was your bike last, last Sunday? God, you've got a good memory, Susan Harkima. Amazing. Uh, it was really fun. Went to Kelly Point. I mean, I did a bike ride yesterday. My mood was good the whole rest of the day. And I started in a really lousy mood. Let me tell you this, ladies and gentlemen. Exercise is the quickest way to ch change your physiology. Thank you, Stephanie. Appreciate it. You're a lovely spirit. I I just feel that, you know, the world is a better place because you're here. And especially uh, your children. Um, this too shall pass. Thank you, uh, Susan. Even though there's not an extra O in there, I understand what you mean. That book cover signs probably then my future. Jokes aside, it looks great. I think I'll buy it. 
Swimming is your favorite. That's right. I used to swim all the time. Uh, Stephanie, I know you You swam across the English Channel. Excellent work, even though the English Channel is nowhere near Northern California. Uh, rain. I don't know why my, but my midnight bathroom stopped when I stopped to wear pajamas. Well, maybe the power of suggestion. I'm not quite sure what you mean. But let's have another joke. Let's have another joke. The Laugh Out Loud book for kids. Can't beat this with a stick. Let's open this up. I used to teach math. I love math. What was my favorite dessert? Pie. Also, I, um, <laughs> I love geometry. I used to ask my students, who invented the round table? You've heard of King Arthur and the round table. Some really smart Alex said, circumference invented the round table. <laughs> Who earns a living driving their customers away? Taxi drivers. All right. Susan McDonald says, I heard before exercise your brain, not your butt. I'm not quite sure what that means, but anything you say, I'm going to agree with. Susan Hart came out, said, Low, LOL, LOL. Oh, so a conference, yes. That is very funny, isn't it? That's ha that shows what happens when you have a smart Alex. Well, we're two-thirds through uh, this live chat. We've got 51 people watching. Yay! It's growing as we get, go on. Maybe if we make it eight hours, we'll, we'll have 100 people. Okay, Rain, start trying to make this a suggestion, but I figure out I have not figured out how to reply. Sorry. I'm not quite sure what uh, you mean, Rain, but, you know, keep up the good work. By the way, a live chat this coming Wednesday, July 3rd at noon, just letting you know. And uh, thanks again, uh, uh, Stephanie, and all the people who are contributing and will continue to contribute. I like, glad you like circumference. Swiss heart, yes, go for it. I have some amazing lavender oil that has really been helping my mood. Swiss heart, will you please tell people why lavender is good for depression and how you grow it in your area and how you sent me some specially handpicked? Wow, I, I'll never forget you. Anyway, nice to see you here. I told my parents when I wanted to grow up, I wanted to be a comedian. Well, no one's laughing anymore. You know, I love the lazy I, uh, not the lazy I ran shows, the Honda executives not leaving on his own accord. Of course, you have to know what an Honda accord is to get that joke. Christine Miller, it's nice to see you. I have depression and anxiety for a year and a half. I've been hospitalized four times. Wow, I had ECT last summer. <clears throat> and I think I need to have it again. Have you heard of this? Yes, 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 yes. I had ECT in the summer, in the January of 2016. My mother had it multiple times. Yes, if ECT helped you and you feel you need, the, need another round, talk to the doctor who, uh, who did it for you. You know, it's very common that people, after they get ECT, have to have follow-ups. Usually my mother had one session a month for the rest of her life after she had her first rounds and it's called maintenance so you know talk to your doctor about maintenance ect if it helped but yes uh mary had a little lamb and the doctor passed out <laughs> kelly burns i like that uh that is so corny yes i'm gonna go copy and paste that uh kelly that was that was <laughs> that was that was a winner what can i say let me go ahead and do that Hey, Moby is zero from Florida. Haven't heard from you in ages. Hey, I won't even mention anything about North Korea. Uh, Lazy Iran, people are often shocked when they found out that I'm not a very good electrician. Well, the good news is right now I'm working at the airport. That's good. Chronic depression, 50 years old. What is your opinion about TMS? Transcranial magnetic stimulation. I did a whole video on it. It, it works... Uh, about 60% of the time, two-thirds of the time, for major or minor improvements. And there's literally no downside. So I think it's a good thing to try. Talk to your doctor. Uh, by the way, where is my phone? Does anyone listen to the Writer's Almanac uh, by Garrison Keillor? Um, he's very good. Every day he talks about 
a writer or literary person was born that day or something interesting in history. And he has a poem. So what do you guys think of this poem? It's a limerick. Tell me, tell me what you think of this. His doc, I'll send this to you, anybody who wants to see it. His wife said, please be careful, and smiled patiently, and said, hey, don't worry about me. And he buckled right in with a confident grin, and his screwdriver touched the live wire, and he let out a cry and proceeded to die in a shower of sparks and live fire. And the people who gave the eulogy spoke of honor and love and ambition, and they spoke of the dead, and nobody said, why didn't he call an electrician? I'll read those last two lines. And the people who gave the eulogy spoke of honor and love and ambition, and they spoke well of it, and nobody said, why didn't he call electrician? Limericks, very funny. You love Garrison Keillor? Well, uh, go on his website. He's now doing the Writer's Almanac every day. You can listen to his, his description of the important events of the day and his wonderful poem. All right, bad news is, whoops, my North Korea obsession has returned. Oh, well, Moby Zero, you need to talk to your doctor immediately and get back on your medication or get some help. Uh, it is an obsession. So it's hard. Are you still writing a book? What book? Uh, I'm writing a book on uh, uh, suicide prevention. What do you call pissed off German sauerkraut? Oh, my goodness. Ha! Of course, people have to know that Germans were called krauts. Uh, and during the wars. Don't let your fear of North Korea steal your job in your life. Thank you, Susan McDonald. It is, it is just, um, uh, you know, a fear and nothing else. It's an imagined thought. Hey, Catherine Goldie, are you from England? England is playing the United States in the World Cup in what you guys call football, what we guys call soccer. Let me know if you're following the World Cup. All right. Uh, Stephanie says, Mobius, please don't give up and think of the pain it would cause your parents, etc. You have a purpose on this earth. Thank you, Stephanie. You know, I should consult with you about my new book. You seem to have really a, a good faith, which is what peer, people need when they're really going through hard times and you see no way out. So what are four words? What are the four words that can save anybody's life? You love footy? Oh, you're from Scotland. Well, cheer for England anyways. Closer than the United States. Four words that can save your life at 47 minutes after the hour. What are those four words? Here they are. I want you to write them down and commit them to memory. The four words that can save anybody's life when they're thinking that they don't want to be here anymore. And uh, probably some of you know what those four words are, but I'm going to tell you right now. Swiss Heart, Blackbird, Kelly Burns, there they are. Uh, I have a, a video called Four Words That Can Save Your Life, all about this too shall pass. Okay, so any biblical people out here? Okay, so uh, Stephanie for sure. Though I walk through the shadow, let's try it again. Though I walk through the shadow of the valley of death, I will fear no evil. Where does that come from? For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. The 23rd Psalm, right? Notice he said, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. He didn't say he pitched his tent there. He didn't build a condominium there. He didn't rent a room there. He walked through the valley of shadow of death. What does that mean? Every bad episode of anything we go through has a beginning, it has a middle, it has an end. Don't give up in the middle, or as Joel Osteen would say, have faith in the middle, because it is the middle, because it will come to an end. Think of this, your suffering has an expiration date. It has a limited shelf life. I have been through four major depressive episodes, Five hospitalizations, four suicidal episodes, and they've all come to an end. So remember that. This too shall pass. And everything changes because we live in a physical universe and the only thing constant is change. The Buddhists call it impermanence. If only people could re remember that and somehow hang on because, you know, your your torment will, will come to an end. You're a minister. Well, of course. Don't give up five minutes before the miracle. Well, that comes out of... Uh, Alcoholics Anonymous, another video I have, by the way. What are some of the things I enjoyed as a uh, child? Oh, you're asking, you're asking Mobius, not me. I, I like bicycle riding. Mobius, I'm really pleased your medication is a godsend. Nice to tackle plan, Mobius here. Maybe you should call 911 and see if you can go on 24-hour watch for a few days. Well, you know, when Mobius says he's 
Yeah, I I think he he just needs to get back on his medication, and make sure there's somebody around him at all times. There's no going around the Valley of Shadows. Either you have to move through it, no avoids. Yes, the rain falls on the just and the unjust, doesn't it? Uh, yes, Catherine Goldie says, Moby, if, if you weren't here, we would miss your chat. Susan McDonald, The Mind Connection is a spiritual audiobook about letting negative thoughts go and letting God into positive thoughts. Love the book quote of the 23rd Psalm. Susan McDonald, you and I have to meet sometime. I know you're from Virginia. I think you can send me your photo and you are truly you know a lovely soul and everybody here is a lovely soul but i'm gonna go uh i'm gonna go look up that book i'm always looking for inspirational books susie can i call you susie probably not uh, you can call me dougie uh all right let me go ahead and, and cut and paste this um as soon as i can Hey, Susan, what is the, uh, who is the author of The Mind Connection? Let me know. I'd like to look it up. Uh, Mobius Zero says, on a more positive note, I have a new appreciation for airplanes now. I already love planes before. There you have it. So if you have an appreciation, anytime you think about uh, North Korea, turn that off and put on appreciation for planes. Turn off North Korea, turn on planes. That's called thought substitution. So Mobius... Keep thinking about planes anytime you get obsessed with North Korea. This too shall pass unless you are again from the world of wings and you shall not pass. Okay, good pun. Dougie, consult with me anytime. Of course, Stephanie, and vice versa. <laughs> oh, well. Sir, I'm late, Douglas. I had family visiting. David Holden, now you're from England. Now you're going to cheer for the soccer team against the U.S.? And if they win, I'll never speak to you again. I mean, if Britain wins, I'll never Great Britain. Is Great Britain the same as England? I don't know. Tell me. Are they the same thing? Well, if England wins, I'll never speak to you again. Of course, I've never spoken to you in the first place because everything we've done has been over the mail. By the way, how are you liking, uh, right, liking the book Killing from Depression? Uh, because uh, David has been so generous in the past with the live, the super chats. I sent him a free copy of this book, autographed it. Let me know if it's helped. Speaking of which, uh, speaking of Super Chat, it's not too uh, late to donate. Right here on uh, the bottom uh, left of your screen, there's a little dollar sign. Just click on that, baby. And you can help uh, me pay for the editing of these videos and also for the uh, also my website, Healing from Depression. I have to pay someone to keep that on, on the web. Have you guys ever been to my website? That's where everything got started in terms of my mental health ministry, way back in 2000. I can, only, I can only basically spell, I'll be better off. Go to that website, lots of free tips about depression, anxiety, uh, you name it, uh, connection, lots of coping tools, lots of strategies. Uh, Susie works for me. Douglas Joyce Meyer, I really enjoyed the audio version. I appreciate her perspective because she has some major struggles she overcame. Wow. Well, that's exactly what all wounded healers do. Loving the book. Great Britain is England, Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland. Okay, then I guess it's only England who's in the semifinals. Uh, fantastic book, Susan. Well, and the name of that book again was... Uh, what was it, Susan? Tell me again. Oh, The Mind Connection. Okay, great. And Stephanie, you recommend it too? Well, need to get it out of the library. Don Kapler says it's ironic. I'm obsessed with numbers. My psychiatrist says it's, says it's, you're going to think regardless, might as well be about numbers. Oh, yeah. Well, I love numbers. I've been obsessed with numbers since I've been a kid. <clears throat> okay, what's the square root of 49? Let me know, Taco Platter. What are your new thoughts on what are your thoughts on new depressions with ketamine treatment? Well, I've done two videos on it, and um, uh, ketamine has a lot of promise. It does help when people are suicidal. Uh, it's still being tested. I happen to have a couple. Of one one uh, client of mine tried it; it didn't work, but that doesn't mean anything. But I think it's uh, 
But I think it's worth looking into. So, so do a lot of doctors. SV, come swim the Alcatraz Shark Fest with me. Only one and a half miles. Most participants are your age. Uh, does that mean there's sharks that can get you, Stephanie? Uh, what do you call a judge with no fingers? Justice thumbs. Oh my God, that is absolutely horrendous. Just his thumbs. Mind connection by John Meyer. The square root of 49 is 7. Excellent. Okay, what's the square root of uh, 169, Taco Platter? Northern Ireland is not a part of Great Britain. It's part of the UK. Okay, well, see, you guys know more about UK geometry than I do. Anyway, 55 minutes, 5 minutes left. Let's, let's say some more profound things. What can I say that's profound? Uh, well... <laughs> when you die, the only thing you take with you is your state of consciousness and the good, and the good you've done with the world. So don't worry that people are getting away with murder, literally. Uh, I do believe that uh, what goes around comes around. You either think you're going to be judged before God or you believe like me in reincarnation. Whatever it is, what a man sows, he reaps. So if you keep doing good things and helping people and loving people and you know turning the other cheek, it's going to come back to you in a positive way, I promise. If not this life, the next life. So we have to be ethical. We have to do the right thing. And uh, that's really, really important, even in a world where we have models for you know, something different. By the way, anybody see the Democratic Debate Sun on Wednesday and Thursday? Very interesting. Uh, all right, MD Nixon, do you drink alcohol? Uh, yes, I have a beer about every six years when I when I have a Mexican meal. Uh, but all seriousness, and no, I don't drink alcohol as a rule. But if I go out and I do have a Mexican beer, I mean, I do have a beer. No, I don't think it's bad to drink. I mean, if if it's done carefully, I mean, some people think that wine, red wine, has something called preservatol, which is good for your heart. So, uh, no, I, I I think that alcohol is fine in moderation. Unfortunately. There's a lot of people who can't handle it, and alcoholism does a lot of really bad things in the world. So it's tough, but you can't make it, you know, you can't make it against the law. We tried that in the United States with absolutely horrendous results. Um, all right, what have we got here while I was talking? Swiss horse, yes, seven. Yes, okay, it was scored to 49. Well, you're right, James, my mistake. I didn't know what James said. Uh, justice thumbs. Hmm. Well, I'm not quite sure, David Holden, uh, what your mistake was, but forgive yourself whatever it was from. Oh, I see. Your mistake about about uh, Great Britain. No problems. Uh, Mohammed, I'm on Prozac for eight months, but my sex life is too bad. No sexual loss, whatever. What do you think? Well, that's a side effect of this. SRIs. Should you stop? That's up for you and your doctor. If it's taking your depression away, well, maybe the benefits are worth the cost. Or maybe the doctor can give you some other medication that won't take your sex drive away. But, uh, you know, my advice, talk to the doctor who prescribed you the medication. What do I think about psychedelics for mental health? I think they're being tested by the FDA. I think they have a lot of, uh, a lot of um, possibility. And when I was depressed in my 20s and I took psychedelics, I actually did feel better. But uh, I would never recommend that <laughs> to other people because everybody can ha has different responses. But in a controlled setting... Taco platter for two dollars. Thank you. Every every nickel and dime helps. Uh, citalopram works as well as an SSRI. Well, citalopram is an SSI. SSRI. It's Alexa. Uh, first thing I'm going to do when I go to the doctor is get a prescription of hormones. Menopause hit me hard. Adds to depression, and anxiety. Absolutely. Uh, and Mohammed says to Jason, "Do you have any suggestions?" I'm not quite sure. Suggestions for what? Oh, about Prozac. Well, as I say, talk to your doctor. What did the chicken say when she laid an orange? I don't know. What did she say? James D., is CBD something you can learn to do for yourself? Uh, James D., there's a book called Feeling Good uh, by David Burns. You can teach yourself CBD out of that book. Look at the orange marmalade. Oh my God. Oh. Swiss heart, I don't know what to say. Why didn't the chicken cross the road? 
and why it was red. Why was the soccer stadium so cold? Because there was a lot of fans. <laughs> These are absolutely horrible. Oh, my goodness. I needed to hear that. Hey, it's one hour and 15 seconds. We're out of time. My computer is telling me it's about to die, at least temporarily. Of course, you know, uh, there's death and resurrection. By the way, um, is this an amazing, 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 amazing image from my, my good friend, Julie Hayes? Yeah. She's doing this amazing podcast with Liz Green called Liz Life Guru. Go check it out on your podcast app or just Google it. Uh, lots of good interviews. One with me done on June 7th. I think you'd really enjoy it. All right. Let's hear one or two comments, even though we're out of time. Uh, the, medication, the medication I talked about is called Agomelatine. I'll look it up. Okay? I don't think it's here in the United States, or if it is, I haven't heard about it. Enjoy your Sunday afternoon. Yes, I'm going to see my acupuncturist tonight. By the way, I had a good friend who saw my acupuncturist, who's very good. She's studied in China since she's been 13. She's now 60. But you know what? My friend stopped going to the acupuncturist. I was very, very disappointed. My friend said, I stopped going to your acupuncturist because I was tired of getting needled. I can't believe I'm ending on that joke, but I am. Um, yes, Feeling Good is, is a classic book. Uh, some people achieve, some people are born great, others achieve greatness, and others have greatness stressed upon them. William Shakespeare. Keep safe, everybody. How do I deal with hopelessness after being diagnosed with a major depressive disorder, L91? Depression is treatable. You can still have a good quality of life. Depression, you know, one out of eight people in America has depression. You know, you can live with depression and it can be treated. That's what I would tell you. The savior of the Gazinians. <laughs> I love it. Bye, everybody. Well, um, so until Wednesday, July 3rd, or until next Sunday, which is going to be July 7th, I wish you the best in your mental health recovery. Stay safe. Enjoy the summer, those of you in the Northern Hemisphere. We normally have a guy named Cade from Australia, but it's way too early. So all of us in the Northern Hemisphere, hey, enjoy the light. It won't be here forever. So we'll talk to you next week. Adios.